Nook Incorporated Deserted Island Getaway Package. Hello everyone and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Good afternoon. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check encounter for your deserted island getaway package. So I want to clarify something real quick. I did have an island before, um, you know, starting like this recording and stuff. And I had it for like two years and it was probably the most difficult thing to part ways with it. But I feel like it was kind of, uh, I feel like it was kind of bound to happen after a while. Um, and I did it for the sake of recording for you guys. So here we are. And I'm excited, honestly, to start over. There's so much... Oh, Lord. Let me try that again. There's so much to look forward to. But first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So, let's get started, shall we? The first step is checking your application. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Yes, it is. Understood. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Should I use my... <laughs> should I use my government name? Or should I use my handle? I'm just... Just gonna do my handle, I think. Chaotic. Confirm. My birthday. Ten... Four. That means okay. Is October 4th your birthday? Okay. That's not yes, but okay. Chaotic, chaotic. Let's see. Oh, yes. Here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, chaotic. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. I'm a man. A man, man, man. Okay. I'm a little... Uh, I mean, these are... I, I'm, I just know I'm brown. <laughs> I just know I'm brown. I'm trying to, like, compare. I feel like this is actually closer to my skin tone. I'm not really that dark. That's too light. I feel like this is actually closest to my complexion, but this is also somewhere in there. It just depends on the lighting, I guess. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> But it almost looks black. I'm gonna do this shade of brown with that hair. My eyes. I have brown eyes. I like the button nose. That button nose is cute. And a, a wide grin. I can't tell much of a dif uh, difference between these shades. I'm just gonna pick the normal one. Everything looks great. Thank you. Great. You're all set. I'll just go ahead and add... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't read... I just got done recording Zelda, and I still have that, uh, illiterate-itis <laughs> carrying over from that recording session. It was a mess. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! You see, we're quite proud of the work that we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons, seasons, <laughs> seasons the same way that you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Peotic, where do you live now? I'm from North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relo relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Okay. Ooh, my voice. Ugh. <laughs> Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately, approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. Just like my body. Hey! Everything natural, actual, factual. Sorry, that's a plastic, plastic surgery joke. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. Hmm. I like I like this one, I think. This one speaks to me. 
Is this the island you want? Okay. How many times do I have to tell you? Okay does not always mean yes. Anyway. Wonderful choice, choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one, one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? A sleeping bag is for pussies. No, I'm kidding. I thought that said something to kill me. <laughs> a knife. A gun. A noose. Anyway. I would probably, probably, I mean, I like living in comfort. A sleeping bag. How interesting. You made the wrong choice. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Why are you blushing like that? It's not that deep. Nook Incorporated will fully color cover. <laughs> this is what I meant to say. Cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a surface announcement. I don't know why I'm sounding like a robot. The chartered flight for Nook Incorporated's deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Thank you. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together. There's a second together. <laughs> Yay, here we go. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Incorporated's deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Here we mf and go. Ooh, look at those um, clouds in the background. Oh, she's so cute. Hello. Cicada. I, it's been so long since I've seen this screen, I don't remember anything. Oh, everyone's so cute. I love this game. <laughs> Lily. Oh, Lily was on my last island. This is so cute. I love how cheery and colorful everything is. <sighs> so the first time I played this game, was because my friend, uh, my friends Alma and Bree had gotten me into the game because I heard them talking about Animal Crossing all the time. They'd visit each other's islands. And I'm like, I want to play too. <laughs> so then I eventually got it. And yeah, I had fun with it. And I'm going to have even more fun with it right now. The loading takes a second sometimes. It's okay. It's okay, Rocky. Take your time. I can't do a Patrick voice, but that's as close as I can get probably. Oh no, is that who I think it is? <laughs> We're here! I don't know why I changed voices. Also, my airport is green, my last one is yellow. Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. Oh, you mean the crook? Tom Nook? We're heading there right now. If you'd like to if you'd like to move L to follow us. I just did not register what the, the syntax or grammar of that was supposed to be. Alright, hello. Boone. Oh, I was thinking that was um the other uh chimp or whatever. Talk later, let's jog. And then this is Cherry. Why do you have a side mouth? <laughs> oh, you're like a you're like a baboon. Hi Tom. How you doing? All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Cherry here? Ding. And how about Boone? As in Baboon. <laughs> anyway, and then there's Peyotic, of course. You fucking right. <laughs> Sorry, this should be a bit more. Ta well, I don't really care. It's my channel. I can do things. Whatever. Yeah, great. We're all here. <laughs> I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Incorporated. Yes, yes. I see. I mean, I know that's a thing that people say, but that, that just made me think of all of the uh, NPC um, TikTok, like, influencers and stuff. There was that trend. You know what I'm talking about? I'll, I'll put an example on here. Like Pinky Doll, for example. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what it's giving. <laughs> Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, 
Nook Incorporated staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose choose a spot on your own. There's a bunch of S's in that sentence. <laughs> it's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate. And, ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please, collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. You got it. Give me the tent. Here you go. You own. <laughs> I thought you said you every own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to- Well, we already know how to do it. Thank you. Off you go. Don't die. Oh, the music. <laughs> the music! <laughs> okay. Um, I already forgot controls. Help. Help. How do I pick up? Uh, oh, wait. Maybe I can't- Maybe I can't pick things up, uh, until I put my tent down. Huh. Hi, butterfly. Oh my god, there's so many weeds here. I kind of like it at this little, uh, fork in the river, so let's put it down. Build here. Oops, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be smaller than that. Yeah, that's a good little spot. This is the spot. I'm committed. There's no going back now. Hooray. So, we had a, a Minecraft server, um, Alma, Bri, and I. And um, we were like, you know what, let's um, all kind of migrate from the spawn region and establish our own countries and stuff. Alma's called hers uh, Xenia. Re well, she actually named it after her Animal Crossing island, so she called hers The Lost. And then Sharabia, I just kind of came up with it. So then I uh, kind of carried that over. Like, I was honestly thinking about naming this island Sharabia as like a continuation of the old thing, but honestly, this is a this is a new series. This is about breaking traditions and leaving old things behind, so Ah, oh, Peotic. You must have found a suit suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes? Alright. Let me go help these bozos. Anyway. There's Cherry. You're, you're giving goff right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, but like... For a person named Cherry that's pink. Anyway. <laughs> you're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're chaotic, right? See, told you I had it. I'm Cherry. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do, the, to do this whole island thing. What, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is that such a white person thing to say? What, what? You've already found a good spot, huh? I was just trying to feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. So, now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far that I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Well, maybe I'll find you a spot. Well, for real? You're going to pick out the perfect spot for me? you do that for someone you just met, you know? You're all right, Peotic. In that case, here you go. It's your show now. What, what? <laughs> I saved a clip once, um, where, you know, that yellow bear Tammy, I think was her name. Um, I had the option to change her. <laughs> I had the option to change her catchphrase. I, if I have it, um, I'll put it, I'll put it in now, but I'm pretty sure I changed it to child, like, um, C-H-I-L-E. <laughs> like, ooh, child. Oh, God, that... I I make myself laugh. It was just great. I loved it. Anyway, you go pick up the perfect spot for the tent. I'm gonna go wait at the plaza in the meantime, okay? Alright, Miss Chit... Well, I don't want to misgender you. They, them... Uh, actually, <laughs> the, the cherry as a design is giving very non-binary, so I will just refer to they, them. Something kind of, uh, nearby. Well, I feel like this little opening here. Well, actually, no. This is a wider spot. That's kind of, kind of better. Yeah. This is the spot. 
I'm committed. I don't need to imagine it. Cherry's got a place for her tent now. All right, and Boone. Benson Boone. I actually don't listen to Benson Boone, I'm sorry. Yo, I'm Boone. You're chaotic, right? Nice to meet you, Baboom. You already set up your tent. <laughs> Good lord. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Peotic? Looks good to me. I'm not even gonna bother. If I put my tent here... It's orange. Pretty cool, right? Looks great. Alright, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down stakes right here and never look back, ba-boom. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. I keep forgetting <laughs> the personalities in here and stuff. I think, yeah, isn't it always the first two on your, uh, like every new island is, uh, like sisterly and sporty or something? Anyway, don't tell me you already helped Cherry out too. You're like, like, a true champion. <laughs> I didn't say that with much excitement, I'm sorry. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm gonna reward you once- uh, <laughs> reward you for this once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza, ba-boom. Alright. To the plaza! The Aubrey Plaza! Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it- oh lord. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to some more serious business. Like the exile of your mother. Anyway. Like throwing it. <laughs> That's completely the opposite of the joke I was just giving. Anyway. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Cherry, Tommy, and Boone can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Peotic and I will work <laughs> You mean just me, um, Mr. Tom Nook. Thank you very much. Anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peotic and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright, everyone. Let's get to it. Peotic, would you come see me for a moment? I want to give you a favor. Ah, Peotic, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So, when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Okay, I, I was like, wait, what's the button? Help. But then I just couldn't do it. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the pear-like items growing. If they look like pears, if Johnny had five apples- No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll investigate the pear-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real pears. Not that GMO shit. Not that ge genetically modified shit. Hey, what time is it? Oh, there's no clock yet. I was like, I could have sworn it was like noon or something. Like, I just set my switch to a different time for the sake of it being daytime. Shake a shake, shimmy shimmy. These pears actually look really good. I haven't had a pear in like years and I why well, can <laughs> I love how it's pear with with a question mark pear are you sure this is a pear anyway and it's kind of sad it's a sad life I'm living like without a pear without a pear what what am I doing still living on this earth I have nothing to live for um what are you thinking about little little man I'd appreciate it if you'd hold on to any weeds you pull up Oh yeah, you pull up while you you go 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 go. Brain, help while you're gathering branches. Yeah, my motor speech functions are not uh up to up to speed. In the near future, we'll want to buy them from you. Cool, buy them from me now. <laughs> I thought this said, oh good god, oh good good, Peotic. It looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only need the 10, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. Yeah, like money. Anyway, <laughs> I'll t I must be so materialistic. Oh my lord. I'll take what we need off your hands now. 
Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker too. So, you just call it pristine earlier? Now you're... You, I appreciate the honesty, but like... You just did a 180. Anyway. <laughs> and speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. I beat you to it. Don't try me. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like pears. They smell like pears. And they even taste like pears. I know. They're oranges. In fact, they're 100%, without a doubt, genuine pears. So, will you collect six of them for me? I already did it. I did it because I am that bitch. I don't know what kind of bit this is. I'm sorry. Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough pears for everyone, haven't you? Well, well. I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take this off your hands and get started on the preparations. What was that side eye? Did you see that? I, I wasn't looking directly at him, but I'm pretty sure I caught a side eye from one of the, your little minions, Mr. Nook. <laughs> control them. Control your little bastard kids. <laughs> now, is that everything? Yes, yes. I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oh, God! It's on fire! <laughs> oh, anyway. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop... Ooh. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as, as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh. Now then. Oh. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... Well, I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? Light bulb! I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And, in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So, take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. God, this is so much pressure. Uh, what do I call it? I just had Ariana Grande on the brain, so we're gonna call it... Grandinia. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was, uh, I thought it was saying that it was offensive. I was like, wait, what do you mean? Yeah, Grandania, the land of Ariana Grande. Yeah. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas at all at the same time. Ready? Go. I'm, I'm gay. gay. What? Actually, I'm not. Buffberg. <laughs> What splendid variety. Yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one that you think is best. Chaotic seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So, Chaotic suggested... Grandania. Clap, clap, clap. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Grandania. Okay, absolutely, sounds great. I love how they're all just screaming at, at each other like, "Okay, sounds great, <laughs> splendid." Then from now on, this island will be known as Grandania. Well, chaotic. I'm pretty sure I've already pronounced that like four different unique ways. <laughs> Whatever. Well, Chaotic, since you've proven yourself by naming Grandania, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Grandania. Clappity clap clap! Chaotic, could you please say a word or two as a new spokesperson for, for your neighbors? Okay, a word or two. <laughs> I knew. I knew. Hmm, so... We've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. With what, Jam? 
Those actually look pretty good. Everyone has a be everyone has a beverage in hand. I cannot read. It's fresh juice made from pears. Our new resident re representative harvested on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Grandania and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Prost! Salud! Other ways to say cheers in other languages. <laughs> Hooray, we have a name. Oh, he's playing the tamarine. You better... You better have a rhythm. Oh, it's a beautiful night. Look at that moon. I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually have to get to live here. <laughs> have to live here? <laughs> you don't have to live here, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> Ba-boom. Party around a campfire in a deserted island? Wow, now this rocks. What, what? You handled... I meant to talk to your boss, but you're cool too. You handled your task perfectly. We got a nice campfire going. Ah, chaotic. Having a good time, yes? I know that this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. It's my double-sided... Miss Jackson! I'm sorry, my I'm out of pocket today. I'm just full of beans, as a pair of grumps uh, say all the time. You're just full of beans. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And then when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into the bed. I don't know what these things are. I am a person in real life. Well, not real life. In in the game. What are these controller... Uh, wait, am I being controlled by a person? Am I in a video game? Anyway, that trope has been done many times. <laughs> we got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Paiotic. To my triangular shaped tent. Oh, all these weeds are gonna be such a nightmare to clean up. Okay. Hmm, what's inside? Ah, radio. And Oh my lamp. My lantern. Okay. Um a camping cot. Um, I'm gonna put it on the left wall. It's fine. We got it now. I'm a noob. <laughs> Even though I played this for two years, I'm still a freaking noob. <laughs> I didn't play it a lot for those two years, uh, mind you. I came on and off. The most I got my previous island up to... Oh, I should put my lamp over here. The highest rating I got my island to was four stars. <laughs> so, there's that. I'm gonna just put the radio next to, well, next to the bed. I mean, cot. It's not a bed. Good lord, stop standing close to the wall. I suck. I suck at games. Oops. <laughs> oh my god, why am I bad at this? Okay, sleep. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. Why is the... Did you hear... Wasn't that the creepy music that was playing on the radio? Why was that playing? That was unsettling. Oh, it's K.K. Slider. This is also my first Animal Crossing game um, that I've ever played, so... Uh, just so you know. I've never played another one before. So, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, daddy -o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. You're a dog, sir. Um, sorry. <laughs> being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world of Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. <laughs> My bad. 
Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave, you didn't really- well, okay. I, I could have rapped, but whatever. That rap I just gave you about your friends, it's pretty key. Sorry, that was very bad. Feel free to click away. <laughs> feel, feel free to unsubscribe and report me for cringe. You'll dig this island life. Uh, you'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah. An island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Not really, I'm kind of time traveling. <laughs> Did you <laughs> dig that island? Oh, no, wait. I didn't read it. Shit. <laughs> Shit. No. You fucked me for the last time. <laughs> anyway. Sounded like he said Konnichiwa do Dodo or something. Chaotic, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Um, no. It's seven in the morning. You didn't abruptly wake me, sir. I don't know why I'm being passive aggressive with this character. Ah, oh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes. I'll be here when you're ready. I'm never ready, man. Like, just... There we go. Shut up. I know I... Yeah, turn it off, please. Thank you. I look like I'm in prison with that shirt. <laughs> oh. Hello. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit of more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept for that long? Oh, <laughs> yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip in a major li life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Ooh, it's a phone. It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure if it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Ooh. Ooh, there's Grubhub? Only fan- I mean... <laughs> good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. My nose is pointing. Pointing. <laughs> my- my snout is pointy as a- as a tanuki. Have you ever used a smartphone before? Gee, it's not like I'm every other person in the world. I have one of my own. Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. Ah, yes, yes. There is also a very useful app that contains advice for living here. Normally, this would not be free of charge, but as you're just getting started, consider it an extra bonus. It's called Island Life 101, and it is a message delivery service of sorts. Feel like giving it a try, hmm? I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I'm quite certain. Well, I suppose figuring out your own way around <laughs> new surroundings could be a fun adventure too, hmm? Yes, yes. If you change your mind, you can always get the app later at Resident Services. Oh, wait. I just realized I fucked up. Oh, well. Alright, that's enough about the app for now. I do have one more thing for you, however. It's your itemized bill. Oh, shit. <laughs> So, this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and, of course, your Nook phone, hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Why is this just like real life? Bells? What are bells? Just start freaking out. Okay. Yes, yes. Well then, wait. You don't have any bells. You're poor. Bitch! You're acting really poor right now. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. You could take out a loan, and then find yourself in crippling debt that you'll have to pay off for the rest of your life. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of, st instead of the standard bells. I call this the... I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. What's that? 
I mean, these all ask the same question. What's the point of having three options? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Grandania. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fears. Fears. <laughs> I said that the E in a very dark manner. Anyway, and much more. So, the bottom line is, you'll need that many bells, <laughs> that absurd amount of bells, to pay your move-in fees. But, with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've... <laughs> and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Grandania and a client of Nook Incorporated. Hooray, I have a phone. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Except for lying, cheating, stealing, killing, and other things. From now on, island time will match the flow of time and the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right screen corner. You can also save and quit the game after pressing minus. Oop, what I got? Oh god, I gotta look at everything. Camera, close, um, custom designs, next, 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 close, <laughs> rescue service, I don't need it, close, alright, my passport, yep, thank you, born October 4th, yes, I am a Libra, if that tells you anything, anyway, <laughs> map, I'm the map, Look at that. A couple cute little pawns. And Miles. We are enrolled. Alright. Get Miles. 500 is fairly generous, actually, for the very start of it. Huh. Alright. Um, what all do we have set up again? Oh, the tent. That's right. Ah, Paotic. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know. I, they all talk too much. Are they like his kids? Or like his nephews or something? I, I don't know. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. Like how to lie, cheat, steal, and kill. If you need some... If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you- Oh, this is Tom Nook. He can- He can help you, um... He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous, yes, yes? Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY a free DAI workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope that you take it up. I hope, I do hope you take it up on it. Hmm? Take me up on it. There we go. Man, I feel like I'm very brain fatigued right now. It's also very late uh, at night, so that's probably a, a really reasonable factor into why I'm screwing up all of this uh, wordage. <laughs> Hello, little man. Oh, Paotic, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the next time being, I'll be out and I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure, if you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Oh, there's Baboon Man. I'm pumped about that spot you helped me pick out for my tent. Thanks for the push. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, Baboom. Oh, right. I've got something here for you, Baboom. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. It's a hat. That denim cap is perfect for Grandania. 
You can try it on by pressing X. We already know this. I'm sorry. Just skip. <laughs> Thank you, Monkey Man. Cherry. Not to be confused with Sherry, that uh, monkey with piss stains in her feet. No, like, that's quite literally... Like, ugh, I don't remember what species of monkeys that, um, that is that does that, but... Oh, there you are. But, um, they, like, constantly pee on their hands and feet, and they're always stained yellow, and it's gross. Yo, Peotic. I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent... Ugh, tent plot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. We've got to look out for each other here. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. What, what? Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Well, that's cute. Alright, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weed. If you've never done a DIY project before, you should ask Tom Nook to help you out. He's doing free DIY demos over at Resident Services. Thank you. Island Togetherness. 300. I'll have that 5,000 Nook Miles in no time. Tom, I'm back. I got some things to do on your bench. Oh, alright. I guess I need permission. <laughs> ah, I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes. The DIY, uh, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for the island life, hmm? So, shall I put you down for the next available session? I'd love to. Yes, yes. That's the island spirit. I happen to be free. I happen to be free right this moment. So let's get started. I happen to be free of adequately reading the text that's in front of me. Welcome to my DIY wa workshop. <laughs> Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, because I'm hip and cool, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So, today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It's admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see come see me once you've collected the materials. I already have, um... Yeah, I do have five on the, on the dot. <laughs> ah, Peotic. Found the necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes? To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Craftable. Craft it. Let's do it. I hate that I can't press A that first time because you could craft faster. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple. Provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? I do mind, actually. No. Oh god, my controllers. If I just stick these up my butt, I mean... Splendid, thank you. Oh, splendid. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> the DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. Because it's trash. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes? I'd love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Peace. Peace out. Alright, let's catch some pescado. Oh no, I think the raw- oops. I don't want to wrap things up. <laughs> I'm not done. Keep playing. Um, the raw version of it is pez, right? And then the cooked version of fish is pescado. 
Somebody who speaks Spanish in the comments, please correct me. Um, fishing rod. I'll catch a tiny fish. Eh. Here we go. Ooh, it's a bitterling, I think. Yeah, a bitterling. It's only mad at me, but just a little bit. Ah, bigger fish. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so tired of that. <laughs> this old tire could be repurposed. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. How did this end up in the river if it was deserted? I mean, like, nobody really lived here before us, right? He takes a nibble. Ooh. Ooh. Your carp. Crucian carp. My skills are sharp. All right. Here we go. Ooh. It's another... Well, no. That's a pale chub. Oh. I could name a pale chub for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gross. Oh, hey. Big fish. Yeet. This bitch empty. Yeet. Ooh. A first bite. And it's a bass. No, it's a yellow perch. I don't know my fish. I'm sorry. Those yellow birds have to sit somewhere. <laughs> um, I feel like that's enough fish. Let's go talk to Tom. That was already like five unique types of fish. Ah, Peotic. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. I found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, I thought I could do more. Oh, well. Yellow perch it is. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a yellow perch. Hmm. If this island can support a yellow perch. Why, who knows what other fantastic creatures might be... Uh, we might find living here. Peotic, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Uh, I don't know. It's a fish that I just caught. <laughs> Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your yellow perch. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Ah, vibration. <laughs> Critterpedia. There's also a website called Critterpedia. It's actually really useful for keeping track of what you've caught and what you haven't caught if you've already donated things and stuff. I don't know. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a... Ter <laughs> I can't read. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific re resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. I am just going through it. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs, fish, and sea creatures that you catch. I do hope you continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share it and share them with me too. Not it, them. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm? Yeah, right. Can I donate donate some more, please? I found a creature. Oh, another creature? I got some miles. Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah, why? The ally. I'm a representative. I feel so blessed. Alright. What was that shimmying I just heard? And my recipes. That's a lot of recipe. Alright. Well, let's get going, I guess. So I want to make an axe. That's a tree branch and stone. Maybe I gotta do some tree shaking. Don't let there be a wasp in these trees. One more. Come on. Alright, I guess not. <laughs> Hooray, I got my sticks. Oop, there we go. To the bench. Hi, don't mind me. Just crafting. Let's craft. And maybe mine a little bit. <laughs> craft it. Nah. <laughs> there we go. The A button comes in really handy. 
Uh, I'm all done for now. I made a flimsy axe. All right, time to be a lumberjack. Chopping some wood, cause I'm mean big business. And here we go. Oops. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> you know what it was giving? Here's Johnny! Okay. To the table. The table. I kind of want to make a, a net. So I can catch a few bugs. And donate them. Oh, do I have something in my mailbox? I guess I never picked it up. Nintendo. Congratulations on your big move. We hope that you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Place in my pocket. What could it be? <laughs> A simple DIY workbench. Oh, okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a simple DIY workbench. Well, that's what I needed. Well, here we go. Should I craft something using his workbench? Uh, duh. Hmm. Uh, uh, help. Okay. Oh, I need an iron nugget. But for that, I might need to make a shovel. But I don't have a shovel. So, huh. Okay. Hooray. I made a flimsy net. I'm all done for now. Ooh, you look pretty. Oh. Here we go. Depth perception. I caught a tiger butterfly. I've earned my stripes. Okay, I keep pressing the wrong button. I must be thinking of like... I must be thinking of Zelda or something. Because I just finished playing that a little bit ago and those controls are still fresh on the brain. There we go. Yeah, I keep pressing the up button on the thumb pad. Oh, it's a can. Oh, he feels heavy too. With these vibrating controllers. Ooh! Yes, I caught an olive flounder. That's not the pits. Who is that over there? Oh, that was one of you. Oh, a white butterfly. They're really common. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to catch a bug. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I guess I could try that. Hooray. A common butterfly. I feel so special. Wait, did he just say I could do this? Yes, that's right. Oh, roly poly. Roly, roly. Roly, roly, roly. I think he's gone. Oh no. Help. I can't see. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's a tough act to swallow. Uh, oh, there it is. Let's do it. I made a simple DIY workbench. All done for now. Let me donate a couple things. Hello, hello. Um, I found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? Ooh. Hold the phone. Someone's calling. Blathers, is that you? Oh, what a splendid... What splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Grandania. Yes, yes. The local fauna are just as... Oh, Lord. Yes, yes. The local fauna are as abundant as expected. Just as I told you. Mm-hmm. How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. But I have received... Let's see. Five outstanding specimens so far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. Boop. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates a museum. Believe it, believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. 
Ah, but I could use your help, Chaotic. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting recently, would you be able to help find a spot for uh, for Blylers? Also, that said already, not recently. We'll need a good-sized space to really build out a world-class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting. It's all coming together. Yes, yes. Alright. Here we go. Let me go put that workbench away. Then... Yeah. Alright. Um, where to put the workbench? Probably in this corner. Let me do... There we go. It's just really big. <laughs> I forgot how big the workbench was. Alright, now where's a good spot to put the museum? Honestly, I feel like putting it somewhere off to the left side. Like, what if I clear out a couple of these trees? Um, let me eat some fruit. Oops. Alright, let's get to chopping. Nope. I just did that for nothing. I thought you could do it with an axe too, but I guess it's just a shovel. Oops. Oh well. It's probably fine. I haven't caught one of those yet, I don't think. Oop. There we go. Yes, I caught a yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? <laughs> oh, chaotic. Uh, oh, Animal Crossing chaotic, you're so funny. Actually, this um, opening looks really good. Yeah, it's a good space. This is the spot. This is as good as it gets, honestly. <laughs> Blathers can set up his place now. Can I um, donate some more insects um, before he gets here? Or is that not an option? I actually don't know. Ah, Paiotic. I take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up, hmm? I did. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I'll let Blathers know that he can move in as soon as he wants. In any case, you just got here, so I'd hate to see you push yourself too far on day one. But it's no fur off my nose if you want to rack up those nook miles and pay me back quickly. I've got a few tips for racking up the old nook miles, so don't hesitate to ask if you need a little advice. Cool, thank you. Um, right, I want to donate. Nope, I can't. Okay. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place for Blathers to set up. Ah, uh, but you're looking for a practical suggestion, hmm? Well, I don't mean to rush you, but there is the small matter of your move-in fees. Putting in some work to chip away at those is always time well spent, if you ask me. After all, you can satisfy the loan with a mere 5,000 miles. So, you should be able to earn that in no time. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Tra- oh, trash tools. Well, if I can't donate any of these creatures, then I might as well... I can put stuff in here, right? Oh, how silly of me to forget. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. That is a recycle box for, the all, for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes. If you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, We'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. That's like FIFO rules. A cardboard box. I don't want to take anything, I want to give stuff. Can I give stuff? Crap. Well, it's fine. Goodbye. That was a waste of my time. I mean, sort of. Not really, but yeah. Whatever. I guess I'll go put the creatures away in my house. Hopefully they don't break out and crawl on my face and stuff while I'm asleep. Let's see. I guess I'll put the insects out. Place item. 
place item and place. Cool, so I've got all those. I got a little more space in my inventory. I wonder if uh, my neighbors are going to... Ooh, hold on. Let's see. Oh, I passed it. Ward reward. Great. I feel bad about myself. I wonder if my uh, neighbors will do or say anything new. I got that butterfly, I think. Is anyone in here? Yeah, no? Nope, okay. Where's Mr. Baboon? I, I think they're both still run, um, roaming around outside. Hello? Oh, how you doing, Baboom? Let's chat. Um, I thought I'd be able to just wing it and then kind of sort of moved here without a belt on my name. So, now I'm trying to set up my own routine and, well, bottom line is I'm ultra broke. broke. Hmm. I could do some weeding, or pick stuff up and sell it to Timmy. That might help, Baboon. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Cherry berry, there you are. Hi. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Stop, I don't... I don't want to smack you on the head. <laughs> well, my heart's really racing. I hope the fish can't hear it. Alright, well that was useless. Well, it looks like there's nothing else I can really do at the moment, uh, because I have to wait for Blathers to show up. So, I think that's where we're going to cut this episode. If you liked everything you saw, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. My name's Paiotic, signing off. Bye!